Neato Squad, Incog, bringing you guys back another Soul Calibur 6 uh, video. This one right here, guys, um, well, I don't want to say it's bad news, but that's what it's, uh, I mean, anyway, I don't know how to slice it, but we'll get right into this anyway. Um, this one is coming from uh, the Dual Shockers yet again. So I already had this on the last video. I have a, a link in that description. This one, also, this video is also gonna have a link in the description box down below. So you guys can actually go to that so you guys can actually see what I'm talking about because like for some reason, I couldn't pull it up in good quality of like, you know, this article or whatever. So I can show it on the screen for you guys. So it's just gonna be gameplay in the background. Anyway, this says Soul Calibur 6 could be the last Soul Calibur if the game isn't successful. Yes, you heard that right guys. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard that right. If this game, Soul Calibur 6, isn't like a hit or whatever, like Soul Calibur 2 and like Soul Calibur 2 and Soul Calibur 3, if it wasn't, if it doesn't like, you know, kill it in like sales, this could be the last Soul Calibur. So let's just dive right into it and like see why exactly is that the case as well. It says <clears throat> Soul Calibur 6 is. Producer explains uh, that the Soul Calibur franchise Rick's disappearing in the success of the upcoming game might be critical to its survival. So yes, like we, like we just, like I just said or whatever. If this game doesn't do well, like this game, um, basically it's over. Like Soul Calibur franchise is done and it's over. Like we already thought it was done already before then with uh, that Soul Calibur 5 game that was so bad, but Anyway, that's another time for another day. But yeah, so uh, it also continues on saying the Soul Calibur franchise has been dormant for a long time with six years passing between the latest mainline title, Soul Calibur 5, the, and the upcoming release of Soul Calibur 6. So yes, uh, so what is this? 2018, you do six. That was 2012? Yeah. So the last the last Soul Calibur game came out in 2012 and it's 2018 now. So and like like it says it's been dormant for a while. Like people, including myself, like I didn't even think this game was even gonna come out. Like when they announced Soul Calibur 6, like I seen things on like Facebook when it was talking about like character polls and things like that, but like who would you want to come back and this, that, or whatever. I seen those, but I just really just didn't put too much, you know. Into it, I was like, eh, I don't even know. I don't even think this is a game you're gonna come back because if it would have came back, would have been came back. So, yeah, I just like I said, I, did, I didn't think that this game was gonna come back. But you know, like I said, if this game does well, we can see more so calibers in the future. But if not, you know, basically it's done. <laughs> it's done. Um, and it continues on saying at Gamescom 2018, Dual Shockers talk with producer Akubo, who was quite frank and explained through a translator that the brand was in dire straits when asked why it took so long. So basically Akubo, the producer from for Soul Calibur 6 and for, I believe, Tekken 7 as well, he actually came out and been like very, very blunt and very, very open about this whole situation as far as um, the, the state of Soul Calibur basically. So he goes on to say, the first thing is that the IP itself of Soul Calibur franchise had low expectations from the company. It was actually facing a crisis of maybe disappearing. Let me repeat that to you guys. It was actually facing a crisis of maybe disappearing. Like, like I was saying just before, like a few seconds ago, this game might not have even been a thing. That's why I didn't even think about, you know, with all those character polls and things like that. I didn't think this game was even gonna come out because like I said, the last game came out in 2012. So, so Calvary 5 came out in 2012, it is 2018. So, yeah. And continues on saying it took it took time for me to convince the company. Akubo, the producer of this game, had to literally convince and persuade his company to put this game into development. Do you know how crazy that is? Of how big of a fan base that Soul Calibur had at that time, and then it just fell off like that. Um, and it said we asked Akubo son rather that could be the last Soul Calibur in worst case scenario that six doesn't do well and his answer was clear cut. Yes, that's right. As that, I mentioned that we are bet we better buy the game and Akubo Sun switched to English by passing the translator explaining the, that the hope so, I mean that he hopes so, but he isn't trying to push players to purchase the game. So, and then his, his exact quote on that. 
we don't want to blackmail the users by saying it could be the last one but as it is yes so basically kubo's in a predicament right now kubo's in a predicament as far as you know we don't want to say you guys gotta be forced to play this like you ain't forced to buy this product that is so cover six but if you don't buy it and then if you don't see so cover again then poof you know that's basically what it is it's like yeah it's it's basically it's over it it's done so yeah it's it's not looking too good man as far as if if this is the case man like uh it's really not looking too good for us as in the Socalibur uh community um okay then it says later on in the interview i asked whether the development team had any doubt in retaining the level of fan service that was included in previous games which basically the sex appeal in like video games like i know you see like in dead or live and all these other type of fighting games that be sexualizing their female characters and things like that um and that has apparently been fully preserved in soul Calibur 6. kubo san mentioned that the crisis the brand is facing played a role in that as well. The development team decided to stick with what they wanted to do since they have nothing to lose. Which is, which is true, like, you're, back in, you're basically back to a corner and you really, you know, whatever happens, happens, you know, you don't have nothing to lose at that point. Like, if you if if you don't go down swinging, then basically it's old with anyway. If you just go out there swinging, I mean, you know, you might hit a home run, who knows. Okay, and Akubo says, uh, to that he says since the Soul Calibur brand is facing a crisis we have nothing to lose so we decided to do what we want to do that being said <clears throat> he also explained that they didn't go out of their way to create sexy characters like I say sex appeal with the uh, female characters and things like that his response to that is however it's not like we're trying to make our characters sexy. When we decide on the costumes, we think about how best they can represent the characters. Sometimes there may be less fabric as a result. The character may look sexier or be sexier. I'm sorry, excuse me. But we're not trying to make the game focus on sexy characters. So basically, a couple is saying right there, basically like the whole point with the whole armor breaks, like when you bring a piece of clothing off, like armor or whatever some certain characters you might see a bra or just you know pennies whatever the case may be when you knock off that type of clothing or whatever off of a certain character or whatever or even guys in that sense you see like their muscle things like that whatever so that's what he's alluding to right there so i mean that's basically the end of that uh this article right here this little short little piece right here so yeah guys this is basically saying right now right here that you know if if basically this game don't get a bunch of um, orders, not orders, a bunch of purchases towards it or whatever, so Caliber 6 can be done. I'm not even so Caliber 6, so Caliber franchise can be done. It can be exiled, it can be killed, it can be done off. Like it's over with, it could just disappear, poof, like Houdini and all that. Like it could be over with in a blink of an eye. So basically, that's basically the big thing that I'm trying to get you guys to understand out of this. So Kubo is basically saying that he's not trying to force us to buy the game, but at the same time, if you don't buy the game, the, no, serious, this is done. But I don't want to keep repeating myself, whatever, because it's gonna just keep rambling on anyway. So uh, this is the end of this video right here, guys. Like I say, it's me, your boy, Incog, bringing you guys back another Soul Calibur 6 video. I hope you guys have a good one out there, and I'm out. Peace.